You know, it's funny because last night after watching night two of WrestleMania, it was not only an emotional ride for me, but everybody around the arena, the superstars, the announcer, Michael Cole was in tears. Everybody was in tears because they really wanted Cody Rhodes to win. And so did everybody that has been watching this franchise for years. And you know the whole story of why Cody Rhodes wanted to win this for his dad. You know, and his dad, even though he won the championship 40 something years ago, but got something taken away from him from that moment. And so, when Cody might have thought that since he was going to win the championship one day, that he was going to give the title to his dad. But unfortunately, Dusty Rose is no longer with us. So what happened last night was not only magical, but it was not only pure cinema, but it was definitely one of the most iconic moments in wrestling history. And you can thank Triple H for that. All of that was definitely the reason why we are moving into a new era. And that new era alone completely changed of what I think about wrestling right now. It was that moment alone when Cody Rhodes finally finished his story. And I can think of a million reasons why people should support this new chapter in the WWE. But at the same time, when I see Michael Cole and Samantha Averin break down, she was trying not to cry when making the final announcement to Cody Rhodes as champion. I not only felt the emotion, but those are tears of joy. You know what I'm saying? That is what makes wrestling great in the first place, to tell unique stories. But I feel like Cody Rhodes, I think he's going to carry this company throughout the years if he's able to. And if Raw comes to DC, I wouldn't mind going because I want to take a picture of Cody Rhodes because this man has been through a lot. For two years, he's been fighting this dream. Last year, he wasn't able to finish his story. But as of right now, he's able to finish everything. Got help from The Undertaker, John Cena, Jey Uso. It was one of those moments where I became a WWE fan again. I became a WWE fan again because of Triple H when he took over. And honestly, I'm glad that Triple H is running WWE. Creative. I mean, he's in charge now. And not only that, but Stephanie McMahon is also back in the WWE. I don't know what role she's going to end up playing, but I'm glad to see her back in the company because you know... She left WWE because of Vince McMahon twice. And now that he's no longer in WWE anymore, for good. She's back. Everybody else that left the company years ago are now coming back in the WWE. I feel like WWE became the home, the better environment than AEW. And you know what? All I got to say is, is that WrestleMania Night 2 and WrestleMania Night 1, even though I have some mixed feelings on it, but Night 2 was definitely a game changer. The crowd came out, showed out. They really made WrestleMania Night 2 better than Night 1. But overall, WrestleMania 40 was definitely a pay-per-view that you need to watch from start to finish. Every match, every moment had its unique critiques. So, 
that's just my thoughts on WrestleMania night two and one. The whole pay per view itself. Cody Rhodes deserved it. Everybody was emotional. It was one of the most emotional moments, and I shared a tear a little bit last night. Just seeing everybody happy and Michael Cole crying because he, like Michael Cole, know this cat for years, and the fact that he gets to share that moment with him, it says a lot. So, um, what's y'all thoughts on WrestleMania Night One and Two or the pay per view itself? Did you enjoy? It? What was your favorite moment? Let me know in the chat.